Năm nay sẽ diễn ra bằng cả hai thứ tiếng là tiếng Việt và tiếng Anh. Riêng phần ở Thanh Tùng thì uh, sẽ phụ trách phần uh, dẫn chương trình bằng tiếng Việt. Uh, chút xíu nữa sẽ có các phần chuyển dịch uh, từ các diễn giả trong ngày hôm nay. Cái video đầu tiên cho phép chúng tôi được uh, giới thiệu đến với quý vị vị khách mời và diễn giả ngày hôm nay sẽ chia sẻ với quý vị về kinh nghiệm nuôi dưỡng những người con đồng tính và uh, các cư xử khi mà con của mình là người đồng tính sa mặt. Xin được giới thiệu hai diễn giả đầu tiên ngày hôm nay đó là ông bà Helen và Ted Johnson. Trước khi ông bà lên tiếng để trình bày với quý vị cử tọa ngày hôm nay, cho Thanh Tùng giới thiệu với quý vị uh, sơ nét về ông bà Helen và Ted Johnson. Ông bà Helen và Ted Johnson đã kết hôn được 55 năm và đã sống trong cùng một ngôi nhà tại San Jose trong 50 năm qua. Ông bà Johnson đã nuôi dưỡng 5 người con tại San Jose, gồm ba trai và hai gái. Tất cả đều tốt nghiệp từ trường Overfell High School. Cả hai ông bà Johnson đều sinh hoạt với những nhóm láng giềng lân cận, làm việc với thành phố. Ông Ted đang làm việc với chương trình dành cho cha mẹ, còn bà Helen làm thiện nguyện giúp cho chương trình phòng chống bệnh AIDS trong 21 năm qua. Và bây giờ, thưa quý vị xin được trân trọng giới thiệu ông bà Helen và Ted Johnson. youngest of our five children and it was just about two months after graduation from high school in 1981 which was a whole different time than now that Peter said to us he wanted to talk to us after dinner now I <laughs> and as I think back about this, it was really funny that he was so nervous because you know what the weather's like here in August. It's hot in August. And Peter was so nervous, he built a fire in the fireplace just to have something to do. So then he settled down and he told us that he was gay. And he was going to go move in with Dan. And I, at that time, I didn't even really know what being gay meant. But Peter was the same kid the day after he told us that he was the day before. So, you know, it didn't make any difference to us. We never, ever thought about throwing him out. He didn't live at home anyway. But um, it just never occurred to us to not love him like we always had for the first 18 years of his life. It was right around his 18th birthday when he told us. And then we met Dan and Dan grew up in Gary, Indiana, in the Midwest, which is not the best place to be if you're gay. <laughs> and he, Dan had been disowned by his parents because he was gay. That was the only reason. And so that's why he lived here in San Jose instead of in Gary, Indiana. And I will never, ever, ever understand how parents can disown their own kid for being gay. Still the same person. You know, it's, it's not 
some people say, oh, they choose to be that way. They do not choose to be that way. That is who they are inside. That's how God made them to be. He made all of us different. Every one of us in this room is different. So, Hi, I'm Ted Johnson. Uh, as, as Helen was saying, Peter came out to us when he was 18. Uh, we had no knowledge of what gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender was at that time. And I grew up all those years thinking that everybody was heterosexual. You know, I was heterosexual, so everybody's heterosexual. Uh, Peter took us on a journey that had we not had a gay son, we would have never walked the journey. But we did. We learned, we found out that gay people, lesbian, transgender people are all on a journey of their own. They are all gifts from God as far as I'm concerned. Peter was the greatest gift we had ever had in our life. Uh, he taught us so much about things that we would have never understood had we not had him. such a wonderful son. Uh, all of our kids were gifts, but Peter took us places we would have never walked had we not had him. And I do, really do believe that these children we are given are who they are because God wanted them to be that way. And, you know, I will talk to anybody in a private about Peter, but uh, to me, I, he was great. He was just a fantastic kid. And thank God for letting him be in our lives for as long as he was. So with that, uh, I'll hang out. <laughs> Some years later, Peter and Dan split up. It was and for our family, all of his brothers and sisters, and for us, it was it was like anybody in your family gets a divorce. It hurts the whole family. It was just really hard. But um, a year or two after that. Dan got sick, and Peter was the one he called to take him to the hospital. And Peter called me and said he'd taken Dan to the hospital and he has pneumonia. Well, in 1988, I knew what that meant because there were a lot of gay men that were getting this pneumonia and they were dying. And I won't go into this whole story like I do when I talk to the kids in schools because it's about AIDS and prevention and all that. But Dan died from AIDS in September of 1989. And Peter also died from AIDS in October of 1993, so it's been a long time. But back then there wasn't any medication for them, and now there is, and I know lots of people who are living with AIDS and have been some of them for 20 or 25 years. And I'm glad I know these people because they're just great people. But I um, can talk to you about that some other time if you want. Um, we're just, the reason we're here today is to say if any of you parents are, if you have a kid who comes to you and says, I'm gay or I'm lesbian, don't 
project them, just throw them out of the house. You, know, you can't do that. They're, they're still for the same kid that you've loved before. They're the same kid afterwards. 